This is the Bitbox. It's a puzzle that I had the idea for in 2007. It's based on a game that I enjoyed as a kid called Lights Out. And that was an electronic game where uh, there was a grid of lights kind of like this, and you would press one of the buttons and that light would toggle. So if it was on, it would go off, and if it was off, it would go on. But it would do the same to the lights around it as well. And the Bitbox is designed on a similar principle. So if I rotate a face, like let's say this face here, uh, these pieces, these three, will turn off, and these uh, six will turn on. Like so. So every quarter turn, those will toggle. Let's do a couple more turns here. There we go. So now I can see I've only got one face that's off. So if I rotate that face, I would expect the puzzle to be solved. And the object would be, start with a puzzle that's all on and turn it all off or start with a puzzle that's all off and turn it all on. And it's kind of a fun question to think about if you've got a puzzle that's all on like this, is it possible to turn it all off? Um, another uh, fun thing to think about is what does a checkerboard pattern look like on this puzzle? Um, this is the Bitbox puzzle. The fifth version finally works and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Now that I've introduced the Bitbox. Um, I thought it would be fun to actually play with one since this is something I've imagined doing for quite a while. So I'm just going to start by uh, turning one face. Let's say that my goal is going to be to to turn off all of the pieces, which I don't anticipate I'll be able to do on my first try here because I haven't put enough thought into the edges. But I do think that I can. I think I can hit the corners just by turning opposite faces and that takes care of the centers on opposite faces as well and now if I if I pick two more opposite faces um, if I if I turn this the corners will all turn back on but I know that I've got one more pair of opposite faces so the corners will turn back off again so what I should be left with is just edges left so I'll do that one now the corners are all turned back on. I'll do that one. Okay, so now I've got uh, four centers that are off. One, two, three, four. And then these two I haven't turned yet. Those are still on. So I'm gonna turn those. So I guess now the challenge would be um, if I could cycle these four edges, um, and in the meantime, I'm just going to scramble this. I'm just going to play with it, I think. It, it does seem to uh, scramble fairly quickly. Um, one thing that's that's could be fun is I've got um, what's called diode bridges or diode bridge rectifiers that um, if I put those on the LED, this puzzle would stay lit all the time and then I could use different colored LEDs to, um, to make like a normal Rubik's Cube that you can scramble but that has glow-in-the-dark faces of six different colors. Um, and the way this is designed, these lights are modules so I could um, swap those out if I decide to later. Well, I hope that this uh, kind of random scrambling gives you an idea of what the puzzle does.